Well, good evening, dear. I'm Tartan Draws, and welcome back to Whispering Willows. Had some trouble loading this because for some reason things went easy. I don't know. But we're back. Mm. We can go in here because Flying Hawk is gone. Chapter 2 Wartham's Warrior. Flying Hawk is gone, and he's dead, and now we're here. And there's a note. Yes. They're savages after all. I see. I mean, we're still looking for Elena's father. And Flying Hawk said that he's somewhere here. What? Hmm. This is awesome. Maybe Wartham didn't have such bad, ta bad taste at all. The door is locked. But here, we can go up here and check this shit out. To pick up what? Ah. Okay. Aha! <laughs> um, that was guessed, but I guess I'm good. I'm so good, I don't even know what the heck I'm doing here and I'm still just slaying all of it. Can I go just like that? Like, good. That's nice, so I didn't even know I should go up there, so... What? Who's entering this mansion? You best be speaking with me first. So I can't go upstairs yet. There was thing. I guess not. I have no idea who this is. I don't know, but for some reason this thing glows here. Ah, now it. Ah. Oh, just a wee lass. What a me, me best might. Won't be getting past me. I don't want to see the likes of you. My wife's going inclined and wasting the time with little girls. Like, come on! We're on the same page here. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. It's no, no, it should us. So, what can I do to. Like. Come on. You're more inclined to wasting time with little girls. Your wife! Where is your wife? Where can I find your wife? I met a huge man inside the mansion named Dorby. He has strange accent and sounds Irish. Well, I'm not quite sure. He didn't want to talk to me much, but he did mention someone named Wortham. I think Wortham was the man who owned this mansion. My nose is itchy. We learned about him in school. He helped me create. He helped to create our town. Not. He didn't help me in particular. I'm just blabbering around. I don't know what the Derby guy would mention him, but he didn't want me to tell me much. He even yelled at me, so I left him alone. I don't know why he'd been so mean to a little girl. Maybe because you... Ah, now I can go up. That's what the Martha and Marcus, the whole happy family. Yes. So now I can go upstairs. Hi! Look at that! Jack Sparrow is up there in the left... Um, Picture. My poor Darby, his murder was never found despite my efforts. I was looking into his death, but something stopped me. 
to this day I don't know what it was. Please help me, Elena. I can't rest until this murder is found. I try my best. I try my best. What? Ah. Can I open the curtains? No, I can't. Ah. Aha. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, okay. Move. Uh, I'm gonna just go. Hello? Oh, there's a key. Do I go here with the key or do I just go up with the key? I go up with the key. Nice key, trophy room. Alright. So that was all of it here. Good. <sighs> Trophy room. I don't know who's there. I need a trophy room. Trophy room. Where's the... Where's the trophy room? Trophy room key, yes. Was that the trophy room? Don't look like much trophies here. A note. Darby or Helleran? I don't know. Okay. Like I said in the last um, episode, when you want me to read them aloud, do tell me that. If you don't tell me that, I'm just going to read the diary out aloud. And flying through the other things. Hello? A fox. I thought it said something. What does the fox say? Yes. Oh, great. Oh my. This is a note. Uh, 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 um. Willows does sound like a British name. Alcorn sounds like northern, like Denmark, Sweden, you know? There was a boy. Yes, okay. I saw something up here. Hello. Can I talk with someone here? What is that? Someone sleep up here? I don't think so. Hello. Oh, hi you. I am Wortham's many guest. A pleasure to meet you. You're dead. <laughs> I mean, I can't go in here. I mean, you already know that, that they're dead, but... Okay. <laughs> okay. I thought maybe the um, door could be closed, I don't know. I can just do this. And it, it sa saves us all time. Oh, what's wrong? You look a bit scared. The door's locked. Yes. Hello? Oh, there's something inside there. How do I... Ah. Is it going to kill me? Uh-oh. I just want to see what this is. Hello? You're not talking with me. You're boring. Go down, Elena. Calm down. Everything is alright. Okay. 
put a cute bison. Uh, I just want to take it home. How about you take one of the uh, guns? Look at me different now. Hello? What's that about? Maybe you could look at them and then there's a letter. What then? A letter to Jeremiah. <gasps> Willows killed the mate. Oh, I think we just have to run away again in a second. Oh no. You see? What do we do? How do we do that? Do we die by its hands? Apparently not. Okay, there was... There was building up some itsy bits ears. I mean, I was building up some suspense and nothing to it, but okay, it's locked, but I already got the note of it. That was strange. I thought I have to... Uh, I don't know. Alright, uh... Now we have to tell... The wife who killed her husband. And then we can proceed. Think <laughs> that would just suggest me. I have a bad news for you. There was another that knew of what my deed. Before I met my aunt, I was to have a secret meeting with him. Tush at four o'clock in the morning. He was going to tell me everything. Tush at. Okay, so I go to the tool shed again. Oh, wait, may I talk with him? Do I talk with you? Is this about me? No, no, the lies. I tell you lies. What him wouldn't do this? They're just trying to poison me against him. Poison? Huh? We were having skull last, I remember. But it don't matter. Why don't you leave me alone? Fuck off, little girl. Leave me alone. Me wife Claire babysits gold. Bother her, girl. Okay, I'm gonna go to her again and she's going to tell me I have to go to the tool shed. Are you kidding me? I can't go... Uh. I did it! I did something. Mr. Wortham asked me to ask for my help one night. I took a grave from Mr. Dorby. I've kept it a secret till now, but I couldn't hold it in anymore. I buried him deep in the catacombs in a locked room where no one would find him. I can't have the key to the room. I just want to wash my hands of the whole thing forever. Thank you. I now have a key. To what room again? I just can't believe it. The man was him. He and Darby were best friends and he killed poor Mr. Hedren. Why? Why would you do that? They were best friends. They never mentioned in school that he was a murderer. They only said the nicest things about him. How he helped to tame this wild land and how he was it was thanks to him that our town existed. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. 
this tame this white land? What are you talking about? I don't know whose blood it is. But for what? Catacombs. Shit, I should have paid more attention. Fuck. Ah. Hello. A bloody shirt. The shirt is apparently yes. But what of it? So can. Uh, the blood on the shirt can't be dead, it's too old. Yes, but... Um... <laughs> now we got so a bloody shirt, I don't know what to do with the bloody shirt. Ah! My shirt! I was worried. It's ever since that day, the day of the massacre. But... What are you doing with it? You're like that little girl in the garden, always reminding me of the past. The little girl in the garden. The girl with the flowers. Words don't work to describe how I'm feeling. I feel so hopeless. Everything I've learned about the past makes it a hor so horrible. And that's where we all came from. If that's where we came from, how we can hope to do any better? We've killed each other selfishly for generations and right now it doesn't seem like it's going to get any better. But there has to be something better in all of this. There just has to be. I find it and it doesn't exist. I create it. Love, this is history. People used to slaughter each other for no bloody reason. They used to burn people when they behaved a bit witchery, so this is this is history, and it's important people learn it. No dimension, the garden, the white man, the garden. Hello. Oh, you met the white man? Let me help pick flowers for him. I need three more flowers to finish my bouquet. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. The next time. So I'll end it here. So, we will pick some flowers the next time with the little girl. The episode was a bit... Um... Confusing because I didn't know where to run first, but I'm okay. I, yes, I know you're cold, kid. You're you're cold. Uh, you should probably you should just then wear better trousers. Um, yes, as I said, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of the evening. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be off now. Goodbye.